Taylor here with Agri Spray Drones. Everybody's really curious about this whole flight efficiency um, breakpoint resumption on the T40 and just what does that mean? So you've seen it in the marketing videos that DJI has, but how does it actually work in real life? So we're actually demonstrating that right now. So what we have here, we have a T40 flying down in the field. It's spraying right now. And you can see on here, it's gonna run out right there. It's about a quarter of the way or a third of the way back. And so it's gonna stop, it's gonna be empty right there, and it's gonna start coming back to us. So we're gonna go to our settings, we're gonna see right here, under our aircraft settings, under advanced settings, that's where we have this flight efficiency operation resumption. So you can see what it does here, we have that turned on. And so after the drone gets back to us, we're gonna refill it. We're gonna put some water back in the tank, put a new battery back in it, and then we're gonna hit takeoff. And what should happen, is instead of going all the way down there full, it's actually going to start spraying on this side of the field on that same flight path, and then spray down to that break point there, and then jump over to the end of the field and start spraying its way back. This is huge when it comes to not only efficiency, but battery life. You think about flying across, you know, quarter mile or half mile long field with a full tank, that's gonna eat up a ton of battery. All right, drone's coming back in now. I'm going to go ahead and bring it back over the trailer and land it. Grab the pump and we'll grab a battery. Probably don't need a whole lot to demonstrate how this works, but we'll just put about half a tank or so in it. You know, that's this is a lot of uh, you know people's questions is you know how do I how do I spray a really big field that it's only going to go you know down and then it's going to be empty on the other side of the field. Well, of course, there's a lot of things you can do mapping wise. Maybe break that field up. But if you can't break it up, then this is definitely a good option here. Okay, so now you see that's where we ran out. If we zoom in, we can see clearly that is where we ran out of product. When the drone flew back, there's a white line it took flying back to us. But if we look on the screen, the green dot is where it's going to take off or it's where we're going to start spraying. We'll take off. There you go, it's at the start point now. So this is the flight path next to the one that it started. It's a flight path that it left off from just on the opposite end. Really, really cool feature that the T40 has that no other drone on the market, any other drone on the market has right now. The T40 has it and it's all right here. It's all super simple. You don't have to think about it, you don't have to click anything, it just does it automatically. All I did was just make sure that this setting was turned on and everything else is, is up to the software. Now one thing you do have to keep in mind is if you have this setting turned on, this uh, efficiency setting, okay, there we go. If you guys see that. It just sprayed to that point there. Now it's actually flying without spraying to the end of the field. Turning around right now. Spraying its way back, just like that. Super simple. But as I was saying, something you have to keep in mind is with this setting turned on, the drone might do something unexpected if you've been a drone operator for a long time. So instead of just going from one to the next to the next as far as your flight path, you know, working your way down the field, if the start point is further away than where the drone could start, 
it may actually go in the opposite direction that, that you're not expecting. So it's really important with the setting turned on to pay attention. I mean, pay attention no matter what. But before you take off, look on screen. The screen always tells you where the drone is going to go after it takes off. So just being cognizant of what the software is telling, what the screen is telling you before you take off is definitely a must with this setting turned on. All right, guys, that's it. Hope that answers your questions. Uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, uh, give us an email. We'll get back with you. Thanks, guys.